Hey guys, this is Project DAE here with a video update. It's an update on loop post. Um, number two, to be exact. Um, well, number two officially. Um, this is actually the first video I've done in quite some time, actually. Um, it's always quite some time with me, it seems. But I actually did have a, actual lo a large stack of videos. But my video card um, died on me some time ago. And I recently just got a new one. So now... I can actually do some updating and encoding and I'll be uploading soon. But today we're doing an, uh, a little loot, acquire, loot acquirement, uh, I guess, video. And, uh, and I guess some short updates, uh, quick updates for projects and what's been going on. So let's go do it. All right, we have Cosmos, or I guess Cosmos, from Xenosaga episode three? Yeah, episode three. Um, Got her because um, the sculpt looked amazing, and she came with an assortment of awesome, awesome accessories. Um, I do collect Figmas, and I do collect Rebel Techs, and the nice thing is some of them are actually kind of in scale with each other. And Figmas can also use 144th scale accessories, which is really, really cool. Um, she comes with some um, notable stuff, a awesome Magnum revolver type pistol. Um, she comes with some awesome beam weaponry, sword melee weapons. Uh, two massive gi giant Gatling guns with effect parts, among other things. Uh, her joints apparently are quite stiff, so even though they're not ratchet joints, she can actually hold up the Gatling guns without any issues or weight problems whatsoever. So I'm actually int uh, interested and intrigued to check that out later. Um, I actually have not opened her yet. Then there's uh, Hitagi Senju Kahara from Bakumono Kateri, the anime slash manga property. Um, I'm a fan of the property. Uh, I'm very excited about the prequel OVA that's coming out, which um, the throw of the property for many new fans was the episode one, like within the first two, maybe three minutes, there was a crazy blinking uh, text and slash crazy action sequence that went down. It's very intense, very fast. Um, it was very, very effective. <laughs> There is um, my first Kotobukiya model, model supply good modeling supply goods. Um, it's a say, I guess it's the cool event of an action base. It's for to test out since I've been getting a lot of Kotobukiya kits lately. Um, from the uh, SIC Kiwa, Kiwami Tamashi uh, set from the Garo series specifically, we have the Dark Knight Kiba, which looks amazing. Actually, um, actually we'll be starting a. Um, small mini-series to review those figures, as um, there's some more releases coming out. And of course, um, if it isn't already known, uh, I have a uh, Zone of the Enders, of course, although this is actually um, my second one. My fr I had a friend who actually um, did a pre-order that he didn't mean to do, so I did him solid and bought it off him. So, now I have two, so um, yay. We have, And then, of course, we have some things that I got from um, a big sale from HLJ a while back. We have the Oboru uh, motorcycle. It's from Kodobi Kiss from the Hoi Hoi San series. I don't have a Hoi Hoi San uh, kit with her, although um, the look of the Pestex does kind of look kind of cool. Maybe I might get that. Um, I'm intrigued in maybe getting the. I saw a pre order open, uh, and then I guess maybe a month ago, about another one. Uh, looks like a different kind, but has extra weapons, and you can combine them to make this awesome power loader mech thing. Um, kind of totally want it. By kind, I mean I probably will get it. We have some line barrel kits that I got. Um, line, mar line barrel uh, mode B, which um, uh, I honestly probably didn't have to have it since I have one, but um, I do like the design and it was quite cheap and um, comes with an awesome, cool extra base, so why not? Plus, um, limited edition, you know. Woot. The armor Aditan, I actually kind of. No, let's not lie. I have no interest in it. It was just dirt cheap and. I figured since I was already buying orders and stuff, um, save shipping, get stuff, yeah. Um, I'll probably use it for fodder, or I'll probably scratch build, since I do actually kind of am interested in the uh, base body, actually, since you can actually convert it into two types of um, uh, armas. Then I got, of course, the from the Move Love Alternative Series, the Sheer New Type 2, uh, or not Type 2, uh, Second Demonstrator Color Type. Um, very intricate, very cool, has extra effect parts, kind of effect parts. They're clear parts that you can add on or not to make it look like um, some of the um, lit areas of the mech, um, kind of like the lights and the vents, are glowing or not, so that's kind of cool. And it comes with a base, so that's always kind of cool. 
um, as of this morning, I got this. Uh, I'm a big fan of Fate's Day 9, the Fate property as well, so also looking forward to the season with uh, Fate Zero coming out. Um, it is actually the Saber kit. Um, from what I understand, it's also in kind of related to the Hoi Hoi San series in terms of the build type and the style, but I hear it's actually quite different. Um, and of course, uh, with that big sale from HLJ, I also got a recal. Um, read the manga recently. Um, very enjoyable. Um, I kind of like the designs, and I thought, why not? Because I like small scale stuff. And um, it's a transforming mech rec related uh, thing. So, why not? Yes, why not? And I got my first uh, taste of DOTM in merchandise form. Um, unfortunately, Walmart, my local Walmart had Shockwave as peg warmers up until the movie came out. Then they were all sold out. And all, there was nothing but Primes and Megatrons left. So, But, um, you know, I kind of do like Megatron. I do think he definitely deserves more paint apps. I definitely um, am thinking about maybe doing some weathering and doing some custom work. I think um, a little will go definitely a long way in Megatron's case. Prime, um, he actually, I actually enjoy him a lot more than I thought I did, or I initially thought I actually bought him on a whim. Um, but I actually enjoy, his design isn't as bad. Um, he won't replace uh, Battle Blades Prime from uh, Hunt for the Septicons Voyager class, but in any means. But, um, he definitely isn't awful, although I did see pictures of the Japanese exclusive, um, Voyager version of him with, uh, the Mech Tech trailer, and, um, since this one's kind of like the Stealth Force with the panels opening up, and the armor, and the giant jetpack, uh, oil tanks and stuff, um, I actually kind of prefer the Japanese version, since it makes him look kind of more bulky and a brawler, but still lean, still very movie, Bayformer Prime-like, so I'm actually kind of thinking about maybe whether or not I want to get a hold of that, so, but, that is w what's been acquired in the last four months or so, not too much, but a few things, and as far as a quick update, oi, Bah. Um, got around to working on the resin kit again. Um, this morning I actually did uh, some final priming and actually after my test fit I actually did um, a coat of my first coats. This is actually metallic black. I'll probably do another coat after this. Excuse me. I'm actually, um, I'm not, I'm actually kind of feeling it. I'm, I'm digging it. I thought I was going to go with matte black but um, I'm liking it so far. And of course the white parts. Um, actually white ran out of white unfortunately. I just it was actually my first time testing out matte white, and um, I heard my friend, actually, um, a friend of mine, he actually said he had bad problems with it because it wasn't adhering. But luckily, that's why I primed all the pieces. But um, I, read out, I ran out of white anyways. But um, when I was spraying, I did look like I was going to have problems with it as if um, it wasn't adhering. But um, So I would actually mist it over more than anything else. Um, I was also kind of stubborn because today's weather wasn't exactly prime painting conditions. Um, it isn't exactly covering all the layers I need to as effectively, but it is getting a nice finish and nice matte look and clean look overall for everything that it needs to, so I'm going to continue on and see how it turns out. But uh, it's coming along pretty nicely so far. And then, of course, um, I actually got around to giving my St. Andrew head base a coat of clear red. Um, haven't done any other detail work since. And, of course, there's my Jet UT with its double radar ring and double... Um, extended blade weapons, so, you know, very cool. But, um, that is it, I guess, for now. Um, I'll probably try to get some more videos and maybe do a review series, a small mini review series soon enough to, I guess, just fill in the room between all the work in progress videos and such. Most likely it'll be Rebel Tech or the uh, small scale figures, or maybe I'll do, um, one of my custom uh, model kits or something. But uh, I guess that will be it since I'm actually kind of running long on time now and i got to get to work. Um, I guess that's it for now. Um, I will see you guys at the next video. All right, bye.